Well, you are probably certainly very aware of this. This year's presidential election has been one of the most negative campaigns in history. Researchers from the American Psychological Association have found that Americans are finding that the 2016 race has caused them a great amount of physical and psychological stress. Our medical expert, Dr. Kevin Campbell, joins us here in the studio. Tell us more about the APA study. You know, they found when they started surveying people in August up through, uh, you know, the last couple of weeks, mm -hmm. that the election stress is on par with divorce and economy and in the economy and making ends meet at home. And to the point that they have actually issued some guidelines to help us understand how to deal with this stress because it's become pretty significant. So what are the physical effects of this election? You know, one of the things that you may find is elevated blood pressure. You may find your heart rate elevate. If you have, you know, anxiety and things of that sort, if you have these things going on and you have underlying heart disease that you don't know about, it could trigger a cardiac event, for example. So wow. we've got to do a better job managing this election stress. So how do you manage it besides turning off the television? Well, you know, what, what the experts that the uh, association have said is one thing is kind of unplug, limit some of your media use, except, of course, the CBS News at noon. Exactly. And, then, and in the morning. Uh, and in the morning. Five, right, right, right. And also some other things are, you know, you know, avoid discussions if you think you're going to get angry. Do something productive with that anxiety. If you're worried about your community and how the election may affect it, go volunteer here in Raleigh and help, you know, help those in need. You know, if you do things like that and then make sure to talk about your family, about your feelings about the election, I think that goes a long ways. One last quick question for you. Kids, you know, they see a lot of negativity. You know, how do you talk to them about the name calling that goes on in these in this election? You know, kids model adults, and I think it's important as parents. I, I know I feel this way. You need to sit down and talk to your kids about the election and about what's going on and about how to conduct yourself, you know, in a proper way in society. And I think this is a good learning opportunity for all of us to teach our families and our kids how better to behave. All right, Dr. Campbell, thanks so much. If you'd like to learn more about this topic or you have a suggestion of anything you'd like Dr. Campbell to come in and talk to us about, just go to our website at WNCN.com.